Uh, in this video, we'll be learning how to use GitHub so that you're able to share your code online and collaborate with other developers. So if that's something you'd like to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need to create an account on GitHub. So to do that, you can click sign up. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. So I'm just going to sign in. Okay, so we're going to create a new GitHub repo. So what you want to do is go to new. Okay, and we'll just name this GitHub tutorial. And we're just going to set it to public. And then we can create create repository. Okay, so now it's giving us instructions on how to set up the repository on the command line. So let's do that now. So what you want to do is just open your command line. Okay, so here in the terminal, we just have just a standard WordPress install. So we're going to push this to our GitHub repo. So what you want to do to start is do git init. Okay, so this is going to create an empty GitHub repository. And let's go back to GitHub. Okay, and these are the instructions. Okay, so we just need to create the readme file. So let's do that. Okay, so we have the readme file here now. So let's connect to our GitHub repo. So what you want to do is back on the GitHub dashboard. Let's copy this code, git remote at origin. Okay, and back in our terminal, we're going to paste that. Okay, and then we're going to add all our files with git add. Okay, and then we're going to git commit, which states what's new about these files compared to the old repo. So it is our first initial commit. Okay, and that's it. Okay, and then we're going to do git push dash u origin main. Okay, we need to go to the git branch. So it's saying that back here, we didn't do this one over here, the git branch dash m. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so we're on the main branch. And then after we're going to push again to the main branch. Okay, so we're going to do this command again, git push u dash origin main. Okay, so just asking for your password. Okay, so now it's uploading to the repo. Okay, so let's check out our GitHub repository. Back here and click refresh. Great, so all our files are here that we uploaded. So we can view our commits here. So first initial commit. And in here you can see all the code changes. So that's how you would set up an, a new repository. Next we're gonna go over how to make more changes once your code base, once you make changes to the code base on your local machine and you want to push it to your GitHub repo. Okay, so here we are in the GitHub tutorial folder. So I just opened, I just opened up the folder in VS Code. So let's just make some changes here and then we can push it to the GitHub repo with our new changes. So let's just um, yeah, let's just add another line here. And if you're using VS Code, you can even check some of the changes here. You can even do it within VS Code, but we're just going to stick with the terminal for this video. Okay, so we have one change and let's add another file. Let's just do, um, let's just add a WP filters file. Okay, and then we can just, let's just copy 
these files here just so we have something there okay and then saying here we have these two file changes so let's go back to our terminal okay so back in the terminal what we want to do is git add all so that's going to add all our changes and then we can even check the status again git, git status okay so it's saying that these two files have been modified so there's it's saying that the readme file has been modified and there's a new file called wp filters so what we want to do is commit so git commit dash m and give a description on what was done so modified readme and added filters file okay and then once you're done that then we can do git push and just make sure you're on the correct branch so we are on the correct branch here on the main branch okay so what you want to do is git push Again, it's asking for your password again. But if you're on Mac, you can just click always allow. Okay, so once the push is complete, we can go back to GitHub and check that the files were added successfully. Okay, so the files have been pushed. Let's just check our GitHub repo that that is done. Okay, so back here on the GitHub repo. Let's refresh. Okay, great. So our WP filters file is here. And then the, read, the readme file has been updated here one minute ago. This one is about one minute ago. And you can also check this commits have been updated as well. Okay, so those that's the basics of creating and adding files to a existing repository. So next we're going to learn how to pull from a GitHub repo. So say there's a public repo that you want to add to your local environment. We'll do we'll do that now starting in a empty directory. Okay, so say you're collaborating with other developers and they're, they made changes on the repository and you wanna bring those changes into your local environment. What you wanna do is just use a command git pull. That will bring all the latest file changes to your system. Let's update one of the files and then try to do the git, try to bring the new changes to the local environment. So what you, let's, so let's just go to one of the files. So let's go to readme and let's just edit this file here and just at the bottom again, we can just add something here. Let's just add it. Let's just change the, this one to test. Okay. And then click updated readme html okay and click commit change okay so this change has been made on the local on the github repository now let's get it pulled into our local environment so let's go back to our terminal and then let's do git pull again Okay, great. So now we got the latest version of the repository. So that's how you would get the latest files if you're working with multiple people in the repository. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna look over cloning a GitHub repo. So say there's a repository online that you're looking to import into your local environment. We'll learn how to do that. So in order to do that, you'll just need to use the command git clone and then get the repository of what you're looking to import. So let's just import the repo that we were working on. So this one right here, the GitHub tutorial. You want to go over here into code. 
and then HTTPS and copy this one right here. Okay, and then back in the terminal, click paste. Okay, so this has been cloned. We can check the files. Okay, and then CD to GitHub tutorial. And all the files are over here. So that's how you would clone into, so that's how you would clone a GitHub repository into your local system. If you're not too familiar with the terminal, you can also try GitHub's desktop app. So it's more user-friendly for those who aren't as technically savvy. But if you're a developer, then I would recommend getting familiar with how to use the terminal because it's definitely something you need to learn when managing servers. But if you're just starting out, then you can check out the GitHub desktop app. So it's exactly the same process. So I'll open it up here. So this is the GitHub desktop app. So I just opened the GitHub tutorial repository that we were just on. And then let's just make a change on VS Code. Okay, so let's just change again something here. Change to GitHub desktop. Okay, and then back on GitHub desktop. We can see here that there's a new file change. So it's more visual. Okay, so we can do the same thing here. It's like the editor on GitHub. So we can just say updated readme again. And then commit to main. And then just double check the correct branch. And then we can just click push to origin. Okay, let's check GitHub. Okay, so let's refresh the repo. Okay, and again. Right over here, it's showing the, the commit. So if you're not too familiar with the terminal, then you can check out their desktop app because it's exactly the same. So this concludes the video on how to use GitHub. I hope you're able to understand the fundamentals of GitHub and how it can benefit your software projects. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.